Hello and good morning to all my dear students. Once again, welcome back to your video lesson. Hope you all are fine and I also believe that you are doing very well in your studies. So, can you tell me in the previous video lesson which lesson we have discussed? We have discussed lesson 3, right? Food, health and hygiene. Now, we are going to discuss new lesson in this video class and this lesson is lesson number nine first work and energy page number 68 take out your textbook listen carefully now before we proceed into our lesson let's see what is first work and energy first a force is a pull or push that changes the state of motion of an object work to most people, work means making food, doing school work, cleaning home, or washing clothes. But, you know, in science, okay, work has its different meaning. Energy. Energy means ability to do work. Now, these are the topics that we are going to discuss now. That is effects of force, types of force, ways to reduce friction work so these are the topics okay now please listen carefully we apply force in our day-to-day -day activities right like see kicking a ball opening a door pulling a cart pushing a box lifting a bag all these actions result in the chance of position of an object okay now see each of these activities involves the effort of a push or a pull as i've told you before that a push or pull that changes the state of motion of an object is called a force and see force also gives energy to move stop or change direction okay can we see force no we cannot see force but we know that it is there because we can observe its effect now let's discuss effects of force a force can make a stationary object move see force can make any object any object move like see when you play carom and if you push the tiles then the tiles will move or not yes the tiles will move to different direction so force can change or can make any stationary move okay or a force can change the shape and size of an object here you can see very clearly right a force can change the shape and size of an object now a force can stop movement or make a moving object change its speed here you can see a force can make any object okay moving object stop or or it also changes its speed next a force can change the direction in which an object is moving see the ball changes direction and moves away from the better can you see or not try to understand also okay now we should always remember that none of these activities is possible without the action of a force so all these activities are done because of force now next types of forces okay there are different types of force that act in different ways okay different types of force that are gravitational force magnetic force electrostatic force frictional force these are the force so now let's discuss one by one again okay now the first one that is gravitational force Gravity is a force of attraction. It is a force of attraction which pulls things to the earth. Now, see. 
future a poll of word okay if future a poll of words then it will go to a certain height yes or no and then start falling down to the earth so do you stay in the air or calm down after jumping or else see here also you can see apple falling down to the earth or not so for force of attraction which pull things to the earth is gravitational force okay and there is an invisible force that keeps everything bound to the earth and the force with which objects pull one another it is called gravitational force okay let us see who discovered this gravitational force now sir isaac newton was the first to discover the law of gravity while Sitting under an apple tree, his theory was that every object attracts another object towards it using a force called gravity. Now, see, gravity acts between everything in the universe, okay? It also acts everything in the universe and all the planets, including the Earth, okay, including the Earth, are held in their orbit around the sun because of gravity now let us learn magnetic force now see some materials okay some of the materials are capable of exerting a special kind of force a magnet you know what is magnet a magnet attracts or pulls certain things made of iron cobalt and nickel towards itself the force applied by a magnet on an object is called magnetic force. Okay, see. This is magnet. Okay, you can see magnet. And if you keep this magnet near any objects like, uh, like see, clips, okay, then automatically the magnet attracts or pulls these clips, okay? So, the force applied by a magnet on an object okay the force applied by a magnet on an object is called what magnetic force see some powerful electromagnets are used to lift very heavy objects okay in workshops some iron pieces sticking to another iron object can be removed by a magnet in many factories, okay, iron is separated from the scrap by electromagnets. Now, the next, electrostatic force. The force exerted by a charged body on another charged or uncharged body is known as electrostatic force. For example, okay, you wrap a comb you know what is comb to comb your hair okay wrap a comb on your hair then you bring back it close to a balloon or small bits of paper okay then the balloon or bits of paper will get attracted towards the comb the comb gets why because the comb okay the comb gets charged due to the friction the force that attracts the paper or the balloon towards the comb it is called electrostatic force. And see, electric air, okay, electric air purifies used in gymnasts make use of this force. Now let us learn frictional force. The force that opposes the motion of an object and tries to stop or slow it down is called frictional force for example see a child plays with toy car pushes it forward okay and it goes up to a certain distance then stop itself right here also you can see it is due to the friction between the floor and the wheels of the car the force of friction is less on a smooth surface and more on a rough surface. 
For example, she can push a box over a rough surface and then push the same on a smooth surface. You will notice that it is easier to push the box on the smooth surface because the force of friction is less on a smooth surface than on a rough surface. Okay, see, in our daily life, it is not possible to do certain activities in the absence of friction, okay? Let us see how friction helps in our daily life. Friction helps us to grab things. Okay, see, it is very easier to hold a glass bottle when it is dry. A bottle tends to slip from our grabs when it is wet. Water makes things slippery because it reduces the friction between our hand and bottle. Okay. Let us see the next. Friction helps us to walk. Okay. If there was no friction, okay, then we would just sleep if we try to work. Okay. If there is no friction then then we would sleep if we are trying to work but because of friction we can work okay now let us see the next that is friction produce heat friction also produce heat so rub your hands together okay this you rub your hands together and then put them against your face you will feel warm or not yes you do it okay so that you can understand also now next friction helps car to move and stop friction also helps the car to move and stop along roads as and when desired the tires of a car are rough so that the car do not skid now see writing with a chalk this is also another friction helps us in our day-to-day -day life. Writing with a chalk on a rough blackboard is also easier than writing on a smooth blackboard. In some situation, okay, in other situation, friction is harmful too. It is also harmful too because it makes machine less efficient. It also slows down machines make them hot and causes a lot of fear and tear okay and machines have to do work harder to overcome the friction so energy is wasted now let us discuss next topics that is ways to reduce friction now let's see what are the ways to reduce friction one the moving parts of machines are oil and grease regularly to reduce friction Oil and grease are known as lubricants. They reduce what? Friction, okay? Now, next. At some places, smoothening of surface is required. They may be smoothened by sandpapering, oiling, or greasing. Sprinkling gelgam powder on garam pot is a good example of making the surface smooth. Okay, did you ever see your elder playing garam? See, before this start playing okay they put some powder so that the surface become very smooth so putting powder on carom pot is a good example okay to make the surface smooth now see next ball bearings are small smooth metal balls they are placed between the moving parts of machines to reduce friction okay so these are the ways to reduce friction now let us discuss the another topics that is work okay okay as we all know what is work right work is said to be done when a force moves an object in the desired direction okay so be before i've told you that work is not only washing cleaning home working school works not only that but according to science works has different types okay so now let's see 
For example, a student is carrying a bag to school. A woman is carrying water. In these two cases, okay, describe here that there is a force exerted upon an object to cause that object to be displaced. Work is said to be zero. Why? Can you tell me why work is said to be zero? Because see, when an object does not show any displacement even after applying the force, that is why work is said to be zero. Okay. If you apply some force but it does not show any displacement, okay, then it is said to be zero. For example, see. A man pushes a wall and is unable to displace it. Then, obviously, work is said to be zero, right? Thus, see, there is no work done. That is why work is said to be zero, okay? Now, see, sitting and looking at the computer screen is work or not? No, it is not work, okay? Sitting and looking at the computer screen is not work. But, see, tapping on the keyboard and making the keys move is what work because your fingers okay your fingers are applying a force and moving the keys right so similarly sleeping reading and thinking are not considered work okay are not considered to be work in science why because because there is no force applied in these activities and no object is being moved. So that is why sleeping, reading, and thinking are not considered to be work. Okay. So work is done. Okay. When you apply a force and moves the, an object and change the direction, it is said to be work. Okay. So always remember that. If you apply force but do not show any displacement, then there is no work done. So, these are the topics that we have discussed today. And the remaining topics, okay, we will discuss in the next video lesson. So, I hope you all understood. Please take care of yourself. Study hard. Stay home. Stay safe. See you in next video. Thank you.